Hello, my name is Cheyenne and today I'm going to be showing you how I created my Valentine's Day nails. Before I go into the design, I'm going to start with putting on a base coat. So I don't always talk about how I apply a base coat, but I do for every single manicure. I've been using KB Shimmer's Ridge Filling Base Coat since maybe last October. I've been really liking it, so I just wanted to give an update. Next for my base color, I am using Dom's Love at Frost Sight. And it seems almost unassuming in this lighting, but oh my gosh, it really glows in certain lights. And it was really hard to capture it on camera because I think I could catch the more glowy looks in lower lighting. And then it gets a little bit grainy, so I, it took me a while to find a good shot. I was pretty impressed with one coat, but I ended up doing two coats just to make it more opaque. I ended up top coating this so I could just enjoy this polish for a while before putting any nail art on it. Plus I had a bunch of chores I needed to do so I actually fixed my fence a little bit. Not too long after applying this top coat and like always it performed very well. It was probably less than 30 minutes before I was outside trying to fix the fence. Next, I'm getting into doing actual nail art. I'm going to be using this really old and crusty white nail polish. I'm going to be creating these little squiggle designs on each of my nails around the edges. I'm first going in with a detail brush to just create an outline and then I'm going to try my best to fill it in with the actual brush that the polish provided. I'm not using my detail brush from Cirque just because that one is much finer and I just thought it wasn't necessary to, to use such a fine brush for the outline. You might not be surprised given how old and worn out this polish looks is that it's a little thick and I'll definitely need to get some thinner. I'm going in again with my detail brush just to clean up my edges a little bit. Next, I'm going to be using Hollow Tacos Left on Red. This is just a red cream polish, and I'll be using that to make hearts. And I wanted to do this in a way that made it sense for a viewer watching. So I twisted my hand in this weird angle, which I wouldn't normally do. And I don't recommend painting at an angle that you're not comfortable in. Because of this, I ended up painting all my hearts slightly sideways. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I first started with two dots and now I'm going and dragging up to a point between the two to create a heart shape. Something I've learned after painting my nails and posting content on social media related to it for over a year now is that you do have to think about what angle do you want your image to be viewed at? Do you want it to be better seen by a viewer or do you want to have it at an angle where you can see it better yourself? So in this case, I wanted a viewer to have a better view of these hearts, so I faced them going towards the tip of my nail. I'm now going in and adding my second heart, and as you can see, my first one is lopsided like I mentioned. And I actually was a little bit disappointed with how my thumb came out in comparison to all my other fingers, but you'll see a shot where all of them are a little bit less lopsided. <laughs> I almost thought that I wouldn't post this just because of that, but I figured I would just show people anyways just because I wanted to be honest with and show the challenges that I face so maybe other people can maybe attempt this differently and not paint it at a weird uncomfortable angle. I was also having some really bad luck and the day before I ended up breaking one of my nails down pretty low so I had to give all my nails the chop, but nails grow back so it's not a big deal. But the finger that does have the break, I did try to patch it and it looks a little bit more bumpy than I would like. So I feel like my swatch game is going to be a little bit lacking, which is too bad because this nail polish is really pretty. And so I wanted to take a bunch of photos and videos with just the base color on. But because of the bad tear and the patch that I put over it, I kind of wanted to disguise that a little bit more with the nail art. There are a lot of videos already online on what to do if you break your nail and how to patch it. So I won't really go into that too much unless people are interested. Maybe the next time I break my nail, I could use it as an excuse to film a video on how I patch a break. But my plan is once it's grown out enough, I'll probably stop patching it 
Right now the brake is just really low, so I'm just trying my best not to get it to break any further because it's a little bit painful. I should note, while I did use the brush for painting a lot of this design, I do think the dotting tool helps to make the bubbly part at the top of the heart. But if you don't have a dotting tool, a toothpick can also work. Next, I'm going to be taking Cirque's Spotted to add a little bit of decorative detail around the white design that I've already put down. Alternatively, you could use a dotting tool or a toothpick to create black dots with black nail polish around this area. And honestly, I think that might have been a better idea because then you'd have better control for where all the dots would go. But I got this topper late last year and I've been looking for an excuse to use it. I love a black and white speckle design because it just reminds me of Oreos or cookies and cream. Last and not least, I'm going to be applying KB Shimmers Clearly on Top Top Coat. And yeah, then you'll be done and ready to go. You are going to want to wait a little while before applying this top coat just because you might drag the nail polishes underneath. So I painted a few nails before going in and adding my top coat. I think this look took me a total of an hour and 45 minutes to complete. Let me know what you think and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!